Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Loop Masters, and today I'm gonna to show you the new IMPC Pro 2.0 record audio track feature. I'm gonna show you how to use it, talk a little bit about why it's great, and I'm also gonna show you how to record some samples that you can edit and put on some of your pads to incorporate inside of your projects. So we got two different things going on here, but I'm gonna show you both in this video. It's gonna be information packed. I'm excited to show you, so let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways of recording your voice or any other samples from microphones directly into the IMPC Pro 2, which includes one of the biggest new features in the update, which is the track feature. And that's different than making samples for your pads. New to Pro 2 is the audio recording track. Let's go to the track page and add a new track. Here is where you can add any AU plugs that you have. Unfortunately, I don't have any at the moment. I'm going to choose audio recording track Click this button to make sure you have the right microphone selected if you have an interface hooked up or something like that. I don't. Built-in mic, great. Now, I can actually record an acapella. I have an eight bar loop here and I'm going to record my terrible vocals over this beat. To do that, with the record audio track selected, click the tweak button. Here you can see the VU meter registering my voice. Let's go ahead and record something. Hit record, hit play, and sing terribly for you. Let's go. This is how you record a track. Yeah. 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 This is it. Let's go. Now a quick note, any of the empty pads act as stop buttons. Even if a loop has more to go, hitting the empty pad will just stop everything. Now let's jump back over to the track page and you can see that incredible acapella has been recorded. Let's go ahead and preview this masterpiece. This is how you We can go into the mixer. I turned up the reverb send, added a little delay. This is how you record a track. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we jump back into the track page and click that acapella, we have some basic editing options as well. This is a really cool new feature. Now let's check out recording and editing some audio samples for our pads. For this, we wanna make sure we have our drum track selected and then go to the tweak page. Click the new sound button. And again, you should see the VU meter registering your voice. I'm gonna record some claps. Now we can see the recorded audio's waveform. Click here to preview. Let's say that I like this clap right here. I can click the waveform and then move the starting and end brackets closer to it. I can zoom in and get the starting bracket closer to the first transient. Next, jump into the edit menu by hitting the pencil and hit discard ends. This will remove the audio outside of the brackets. Next, return to the edit menu and amplify the sound to get it a little bit louder. Just click and drag up, then hit apply. Finally, let's add a fade out to get rid of some of that mic noise. Now, that sounds like a really good clap. Hit apply, hit done, click the pad, and we have our new clap ready to use in our projects. Awesome. So that's two different ways of getting audio recorded directly into the IMPC Pro. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Thank you.